Be the hero of your own story. Join Comic Book Society today. And never get any action. Dude, I'm trying to attract club members. Yeah, I know, but like, why? Well, to meet people, to have sparkling intellectual conversations with like-minded individuals. You mean girls? Not just girls. Chewie, it's spring. If you want to get girls, let's just borrow one of my dad's convertibles. Let's go joyriding. I'm not looking for bimbos who are attracted to shiny objects, thanks. It's a single girl signed up. Miles, audio alert. You think so? Yeah, that, that's a girl who has taste. That's a girl who's not afraid to take risks. That's a girl who... Is my sister. Frankie. What? Why is your annoying little sister signing up for my club? <laughs> Enjoy that with bimbos and look so bad now, doesn't you? I'll meet my soulmate in comic book society. You'll see. Uh, and no, she won't just be a comic book character. All right, where is she? <laughs> you gonna fight my sister? I don't know, man. She might be able to take you. Hardy, har, har. No, but I am gonna give her a piece of my mind. All right, well, either way, I'm gonna go pop some popcorn to watch this. <laughs> I didn't dream that. I actually kissed my best friend's kid sister. I have a name. Sorry, Frankie. Actually, I'm the one who should apologize for two reasons. One, I'm staying home with bronchitis. And two... Have you seen Keisha's tweets? Well, apparently some older guys been making out with my little sister. Why would you tell Keisha? Uh, something so personal. Well, she didn't tell her the name of this makeup bandit. He's a nice guy. Chill out. <laughs> Look, Frankie... I know high school guys. Okay, I am high school guys. We aren't nice. He needs a warning, right, Chewie? Uh, you usually hate your sister. Well, does he mean I want some grade 10 or 11 creep trying to feel her up? She's in grade 9. Were you on his side or something? No, he, he should be warned. Sternly. Exactly. But I do need your help to find out who he is, so come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> allergies, stupid chlorine... Let's go get this rat bastard, huh? All right, let's uh, split up and see if we can find the dirtbag who wants to deflower your sister, huh? Okay. Miles seems agitated. Is he not taking the mind break up well? No. And now he has time on his hands to play detective. What's the case? The older guy that kissed his little sister. Excuse me. <coughs> you mean Frankie? Who's home with bronchitis? Okay, it was, it was me, but just keep your mouth shut. Miles hasn't noticed yet. You guys are like best friends. Why can't you just tell him? He's on the war path. So? He'll be mad for like a day and he'll get over it. It's not like you actually want to date her. <laughs> oh my God. You like her. Oh no, I, I can't. She's in crane nine. Just tell him. Off like a band-aid. Hey, Miles. Boom! <laughs> uh, Winston knows who kissed your little sister. This ought to be good. Who? Uh, Damon. Yep, big old Damon. Well, thanks for finding the perp. You're a good friend, Chewie. Hey. Damn it, Chewie, we lost him. It's for the best. I heard his knuckles were numb from punching. You think I can't take him or something? Well, he's a mountain of a man. I just don't want to see you get hurt. Well, I guess we'll have to do it together, two on one. Uh, no, I should really get home. We can go home just as soon as Damien gets the message loud and clear. Stay away from Frankie. <coughs> hey, turd! What did you just call me? Uh, Miles! You realize my sister's only in grade nine, right? <coughs> Thanks for the tip, weirdo, but I'm just trying to enjoy the art. Miles, Miles! So you think it's okay to kiss her and then brag about it, huh? That's it, no, dude. No, Miles! Uh, Miles! What? It was... <laughs> Anything? <laughs> you all right? What? Are, are you? Damon didn't hurt you too bad, did he? Actually, he helped me carry you here. Decent guy. He's not the one who kissed my sister, though. Oh, he isn't? It was you. Please don't hit me. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell me? So beat up about Maya, I didn't want you to feel like <clears throat> I betrayed you too. <laughs> Why, because Frankie kissed you? <laughs> and it's kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah. 
So funny. You know, why again? Well, she had a crush on you when we were like eight. <laughs> now this. Anyway, whatever. I mean, it's not like you're gonna date her. She's in grade nine. <laughs> I mean, what would people even call you? Fruey? Uh, um, Shanky? <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Frankston? Sneaking off to be with your new boyfriend? Not now, Miles, please. People saw you kiss him. That's how easy it is to get over me? You know what, Miles? You were right. Okay? All along, he's been dealing drugs. He's mixed up with a gang. Have you told anyone? I can't. I, Let me I, buy. You need to tell an adult. You know that. Why? So he gets kicked out and has to go sleep in that abandoned house again? Or gets arrested for dealing or has to go back to that gang and beat people up or get killed? God, Miles, I feel so trapped. Imagine how he feels. Okay, I, I may have a way to help. You don't have to go. What are Young Money and his daddy doing here? I'm here to help, son. How could you possibly help me? During my campaign, I, I've met with leaders from your community. I know people who work in gang intervention, and I can introduce you. So I can, what, snitch on my friends? No, it's not like that. They're former gang members themselves. They know what you're going through. It's a solution, Zig. I'll only do it if Tiny can too. Tiny? The guy who got you into all this? That Tiny is in way deeper than I am. I can't face him at school for on different sides. Do you think you'd agree? Whoa, easy, Speedy. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. Got some friend stuff I need to deal with. Well, if you work that hard, you're going to make the rest of us look bad. You don't need me for that, Miles. Ah, clever. That's good. <laughs> Hey, Miles, you know where your dad is? So, a second downtown subway line. Go nuts. Is that your final word on the transit issue? You know me, Jennifer. I don't change horses in midstream. Well, thank you for your time. You are very welcome. Hi. Bye-bye. You should not be here. I need to talk to you. And we have nothing to talk about. Come back. I just want my job back, sir. And you can't have it back. Now, have a nice day. I, I didn't do anything wrong. You know what happened it wasn't my fault. Drew, you crossed a line, and now you need to go. So, so, so that's it? Look, I loved working with you. All I ever did was work hard. I, I was wrongfully terminated. You're not going to get litigious on me, are you, Drew? What? Look, all I want is my job back. <laughs> Bravo, 10 out of 10. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry, sir. No, it's fine. Well, Mr. Popular is eating alone. What do you want, Miles? Don't call the paper about my dad. What can I tell the paper about your dad? Uh, that he's having an affair with Andrea. You know? It's just, it's best if this stays a secret, okay? Look, he fired me, all right? That was totally unfair. You gotta understand what that's like. And as a powerful man, maybe he can get you something you need. Like what? He's got a lot of connections that might be useful to you. I'm sure you can come up with something. Just think about it. Please. Brother, I need to talk. Well, Frankenstein, what's wrong? Becky gave me a modeling spot in the fashion show. Isn't that a good thing? It would be, except I don't know why she changed her mind. You don't think Mom would pay Becky to let me in, do you? <laughs> sure, sounds like her. Seriously? Yeah, Frank, she did the same thing to my little league coach who would let me start. I did tell her how upset I was about not getting a spot. What should I do? Uh, have fun modeling. <laughs> Everyone's making fun of me for being rich. Okay, who cares what they think? If people want to make fun of you, they're going to find a reason. Too rich, too poor, too fat, too skinny. That's depressing. Or liberating, just live your life. Or I could go confront Becky and find out the truth. Sure, or that. <sighs> Thanks, brother. There's no way that the Koreans beat Columbus to America. Look, you can't just take Maya aside because you're still hoping to have sexual relations with her someday. I, I'm not. I, I don't. Unless she wants that too. Seriously. Sorry, I said receive loud and clear. So like just text me. Looks like someone's in a jam again. Yeah. Zoe. Uh, 
What, uh, what's with the furrowed brow? Can you imagine what Zoe's going through right now? Reporters stalking her at school, people saying all sorts of things about her online. We need to do something. How about some placards? That's an idea. Uh, yeah, and, and t-shirts. People could wear them in court to show their support. Yeah, we could get other students to help. And there's a whole bunch of supplies left over from Dad's campaign I can bring to the school this after. Great. Um, yeah, it's a date. Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> definitely not the spot for the purple. Yeah, well, your hands in the way, you know, <laughs> get it right. <laughs> You're coloring in the wrong spot. Hey, um, thanks for doing this with me. It means a lot. Yeah, well, uh, so we didn't deserve what happened to her. People need to hear that. Yeah. Plus, spending time with you isn't so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> it's good to hear. Maybe when this is all over, we can, like, spend some more time together. Okay, I'm going to go sweet talk with Skrull and let him use the photocopier for a project. All right. Bye. You're wasting your time, dude. <laughs> Man, what are you talking about? I totally have another shot. How do you think Maya's going to feel when you testify in court? That you pretty much made out with Zoe while you guys were still together. So it's just one article, okay? It's been tweeted all over! Okay, but it's not all bad. The journalist describes you as a beautiful, talented young girl. Obsessed with male attention. Yeah, but that part is kind of true. So you agree with that reporter? Uh-oh. No, Zoe, of course not. But you do care a lot about what boys think. First, my brother. Okay, Fred, you leave me out of this, Then okay? true. Plus, you were walking around that party asking if you were sexy. So you think I'm to blame for what happened that night? Okay, it doesn't matter what they think, just the jury. It matters to me. <laughs> That's what I am nervous about my testimony. Well, you just have to tell the truth. And I'll be there the whole time. Okay, it's... What? Okay. A lot of things happened at that party, and I'm just worried about what people will think when they hear it. Miles, they'll think you're a good guy who moves away to a place where she could sleep it off. And what about you? Do you think I'm a good guy? Miles. <laughs> because, really, you're the only person whose opinion I care about. I do. I do think you're a good guy. I mean, I think you've changed. I was like, I can trust you now. I still love you, Maya. I never stopped. You should come. Though we don't want to be late. No, we don't. Or they give you six months for that. Not really. There were a lot of people there. Okay, and if they ask if you saw me and Zoe together before that? I can't say for sure. All right, and that's it. And that's it? You're asking me to perjure myself on the stand. Look, Maya and I are finally getting close. She finds out the truth, we're done. Look, Maya's gonna be back in a minute. Let's just go over everything again, I okay? need a break. Winston, would you please describe what is happening in that photograph? Uh, Miles and I are carrying Zoe to the pool house. And when you found her, she was unconscious? No, she was totally loaded, but she was awake. And what was she doing? Remember, you're under oath. Um, she was sitting on Miles' lap. They were about to start fooling around when... So if you hadn't interrupted, there is every possibility that it could be Miles Hollingsworth on trial here today, and not Luke or Neil. Maya, let me explain, okay? I don't okay. want to hear it. Maya. Listen, Winston wasn't supposed to say those things in there. So you wanted your best friend to lie for you under oath? Calm down. I didn't think you needed to hear that, okay? You left the party. I was drunk. I was upset. Yeah, I didn't know what... we had a fight, Miles. But that doesn't mean you have to hook up with Zoe. You, have up... you abandoned me. I needed you. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell me that? Right, because when things go wrong, you do the horrible thing. You do the ugly thing. So that's it, then. You're writing me off. I can't wait around every I, time to pick up the I, pieces, every time you freak out. Stop. stop. Don't do this. Okay, don't leave me again. Trust me, it's the last time. I'm done. We're done. Can you believe I'm being ditched for Zig? 
Oh, right. Story of your life. So are you going to the dance tonight? Nope. Why not? Rhymes with Shmaya Schmatlin. Gotcha. Well, maybe we could hang out. Actually, my parents are stuck in Colorado at like a couple's retreat or something. Movie marathon. You're not gaming with Winston? The guy who betrayed me in court now makes out with my little sister? No. So, just you and me, hanging out alone, like a bro date. Yeah, and nobody calls it that. Well, you know, I make a killer bag of popcorn, but the secret is dill spice. <laughs> Best bro date ever. Hey, we were watching that. Yeah, but I'm older. Yeah, but I'm smarter and faster. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> Give me the remote. Get off. Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to pick Get the off. remote. Nope. I was here first. So... Miles, just because Maya broke your heart does not mean you have to be a huge jerk. We'll play for the good TV. Guys, no, Frank, let, let's just go. Sit. Okay. What's happening? Classic Hollingsworth family way of selling something. Charades. Charades. Oh, I love charades. You want the way they play it. Uh, uh, two words. Uh, baby. Uh, baby, baby daddy. Uh, dad, uh, daddy, dad. And time's up. Bastards. The movie wasn't glorious, bastards. You know, for two people in love, you sure don't have much of a connection. What are you trying to say? That you're gonna lose. I'll be. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Open. A uh, book, 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 book. Four words. Shoot. A uh, shotgun, flying bird. Oh, 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 to kill a mockingbird. Yes. <laughs> oh, we studied the book in class, and Sir Snooze a lot here fell asleep. <laughs> and that creepo Yates caught me. He was so mad. Why are you calling Mr. Yates a creepo? Um, cause he tried to grope me. No way. Grant would never do that. I was there, dude. Why are you defending him? Well, Trissy didn't try to touch you too, did he? No, no. I just... We... Oh my god. You had a thing with the pervy teacher? We had a connection. <laughs> connection? <laughs> and get real, Triss. If I've learned anything this year, it's that no one will ever truly love you. Cold, man. Uh, hey, uh, Tristan! Tristan, come inside. It's dangerous out here. Just leave me to the store. <sighs> Did you really have a thing with Yates? I thought we were in love. But obviously, it's just a big joke. Who could ever truly love me, right? Come on, Trist, you're the most lovable guy I know. I didn't mean no one could love you. I meant like anyone, you know what? I, I meant me. You? Right. You're a god among men. You get every <laughs> girl you want. Until they get to know me, and then run for the hills. Yeah, well, Maya's a dummy. And Zoe isn't exactly good at boys. You know I totally fell for you in Paris? Look out! You know, if this were a rom-com, this is where we'd kiss. Right, come on, let's get inside! Check. The game, my friends, is murder. Oh my gosh. Can you believe Miles got this game together so quickly? Handsome and resourceful. He's the complete package. Uh, <laughs> guys, the rules? This is the murder weapon. If the murderer shows you the weapon, consider yourself murdered. He doesn't even have to touch you, but he can if he wants. <laughs> now. 
Everybody scatter. What's going on? Uh, time to hide, Shuey. Didn't you listen to the rules? Are you blind, man? He wants you. Tristan and I are just friends. Does he know that? Just don't be a jerk, okay? When have I ever been a jerk? I'll make a list while I'm hiding. Find me. Circling back to the starting point, oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Plus, I wanted to make sure you're okay after everything we talked about over there. And do you even have the lighter? No. <sighs> Feeling me up? You know, Shui did have this crazy idea then. You want me. That is a crazy idea. <laughs> the lighter. Come any closer, and I'll kiss you. <laughs> Go ahead. to catch up. <laughs> so what? You're gay now? Bye. It felt right, man. It's kind of fun. Is he gonna think it's fun when it never happens again? You're a mess, dude. Figure out what you want before you hurt someone else you care about. Winston. What? You're dead. Never have to talk about it if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bad dude, Tris. For instance, right? I always hurt the people I care about. I get it. It's fine. I figured it was all a way to get back at my anyway. <laughs> Which I didn't mind. <laughs> I should get home. No, don't, don't go, okay? <sighs> Miles, I'm honestly gamed out right now. I'm confused, Tris. It, it was weird. Gotcha. But good weird. Look, I, I just know that I feel I feel good when I'm around you. Likewise. <laughs> so what now? Thank you for being.